In this video, we will see the connections of the PLC and the programming. Here we can see we have used the 88970051 model, which is having a, a 12 volt or 24 volt as an input, and the ground is internally connected. Then this is the communication port, and at the output side, we are having the number of relays. At the output side, we can also connect a 24 volt DC or 240 volt AC. This is the load connected and this is only the switch. With the same way we have done the connections. Um, a 24 volt DC from the power supply plus and minus. We have connected one switch to the input number 1 for the programming because we are going to use a port number 1. Here we have already discussed. And at the output side we have connected the switch electromechanical relay the positive comes from the input side 24 volt dc the same 24 volt is looping for the every output side and at the second terminal we have taken the second terminal for the coil of the relay and the second terminal of the coil goes to the negative so in this way circuit completed now we will see uploading and downloading process for the plc Already the PLC crowded cable is connected to the laptop. This is the sim simple input switch which we have connected. Now again the same process. Go to the Millennium 3 AC software. Again go to the file, new. Select the PLC module as per your availability. We are having 6 digital input, digital 8 digital output PLC then go to the next we are going to do the programming in function block diagram suppose here again we are going to take a single digital input and a digital output always on the left hand side you will have a inputs and on the right hand side you will always have outputs now double click on the input side Suppose this is the switch FWITCH switch. Display the command and go to the uh, switch. At the output side, uh, suppose I am going to take uh, the bulb. Double click on the output side, right here, bulb. Now uh, take a simple task. As soon as this switch will be pressed after 5 seconds your bulb should be on so for that for the timing purpose we will require here a timer so simply drag and drop the timer there mm, you can say ok double click on the timer here you can set the on delay timer and off delay also so for that select the timing in seconds uh, suppose we are going to put a 5 second delay Okay, connect the switch, input to the timer from the switch and from the output of the timer you can connect it to the bulb, means after 5 seconds your bulb will be on. Instead of bulb, uh, we have connected here a relay. Uh, in next tutorial we will see about the bulb connection also. So first of all save this program. Save this program so to S, then write this program to the controller, write to the controller, it will take some time while uh, writing the program to the PLC, cannot write the program when it is in on mode, ok, make it off, so automatically the next message will appear. So all these uh, tools we can use for the programming. You can say yes. You do you want to continue? Yes. Now this is the writing to the controller in process. Now actually our program is transferred from our PC to PLC. 
if you you have not used the actual plc module then there will be a communication problem for the proper communication you need a crowded plc programming cable <coughs> now the module monitoring startup in progress so now your program is uploaded to the plc just wait for some time here this is the plc now the input side and output side you can see this is the input side this is the output side from this keys we can change the program timing also the parameters now this is the window which is the which is ready now it is automatically goes to the monitoring route you can see there is a running uh, symbol uh, now we can see as soon as i will make the switch on you can see in a, a software window uh, there is a change here we have put a 5 second that's why the why will be appearing at the timer side as soon as i will make the switch on automatically it counts starts 1 2 3 4 5 yes and automatically your bulb will be on this we can see in a simulation also the same thing we can repeat again i will make the switch off so automatically it will switch is to off